Good morning, guys. It's me, Mel, from Lethalia's Little Hook with Melanie. And, of course, my hair is doing something weird. My glasses are crooked. And if they weren't, you wouldn't be on my channel. So, welcome to all the new friends we've made and have come to join our channel. And welcome to all you returning friends. I don't, I'm not, I don't have members, so I haven't come up with names yet. Actually, I did come up with names, but they're secret. Um, I don't know why. I'm barely awake, so bear with me. And if you are new, you will find out I am a little, what do they say, to the left. I'm a little odd. Um, yeah, barely awake. Forgive me. <laughs> I have been sleeping weird. Like, I will sleep sound and then wake up and be like, ooh, not, not getting good sleep. So, yeah, if you don't know, I'm having a rough time at home. Not like, ooh, ooh, ooh. No, just we're having some turmoil and it's just affecting me emotionally, um, you know. And I already, if you don't know, have bipolar ADHD, borderline personality disorder, and have found that I am on the autism spectrum just a bit. Um, so, adding some emotional un instability at home, you know, can, can affect that, can affect my sleeping my moods and so but we are working through it we are getting there for all who want to know how dad is doing he's doing all right he's he's interacting now he's he's trying to get back to doing things um he talked to his doctor yesterday they're changing his meds because the last one was not working at all it was actually activating his anxiety more and we do not need that no we do not so um and Ginny Mama G I'm going to talk to you directly what you suggested about medication psychiatrist agreed and he is trying that one and you're probably like wait what I did what because you can hide your own easter eggs um, but I will talk to, I'm going to call you anyway, and I don't have a notebook near me. How can I possibly not have a notebook? Because I like to write down who I mention. Not a notebook. Give me a second. Got a notebook. And it already has lists for a bunch of videos I did, so it's the right notebook. So I write down who I mention in the videos. And then I don't have to rewatch the videos again at regular speed. And I can tag who I mention. Now, not everybody tags, but I do. I like to. I think it's fair because then people are going, who's that? I don't know that person. They don't have to go searching because sometimes you will put in the exact title of a channel and you don't get that channel because they're not very popular. They're a small channel. I'm not saying popular. That's wrong way. Brain not fully functioning. Okay. But they're a smaller channel. You know, don't have many family members or anything. So I put them in. I tag them for you. So all you have to do is click that in the description box. And it'll take you right to their channel. So that's just something I do. Okay, so what are we here for? I have a small happy mail and a small acquisition. Small meaning one thing. Yeah, I could make it another acquisition. I got something at Walmart. I'd have to run around the camera, grab it, and then show Actually, that's going to stay a surprise because I think I am getting some Bridget bags made today. I'm going to write her down. Queen's Crafts by Bridget. She makes the most amazing bags. And 
I am actually ordering some made for myself. So I guess you can imagine what that acquisition was. It's fabric. But um, as if I did not already have enough fabric, I showed in my live on Wednesday my stash of fabric. But then I went to Walmart and they had someone clearance and I was like, oh, mm. yeah, I kind of had to pick it up. It was too good a deal. And we all know what happens when it's too good a deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's probably what I'm going to get my bags made out of. Bags, plural. Chocolate milk. It gets everywhere. But anyway, so my acquisition is this was pre-ordered at my local bookstore, who I'm also going to tag down below because they do orders all over. They will, you can order anything from them. And I, I suggest them because they are a small business. They are wonderful people. They are geeky. They are friendly. They are supporters of everybody, everything, every condition. They are just, I mean, some of, I know Chris is, I'm not sure if she's practicing Wiccan or wants to be practicing Wiccan, but she wears her, her sis, daughter-in-law made her crystal necklace for protection so she wears that she gets the Wiccan books and reads them but I'm not sure if she's practicing or on the cusp of practicing um but it is all accepting in that place um Casey the owner Casey and Kevin are the owners and they are married or or common law married I am not I am just go with it anyway they are partners in business and in love and um they own the business and kevin is an author of children's books he also has one adult book which is really cool uh i believe it's called operation ragnarok and it has to do with uh D, &D norse gods coming back to wreak havoc and I have a copy of it, which I have not read the whole thing because I got distracted halfway through. It's only this thick and it's a paperback. It's like a short novel. But, and then he's got a sequel coming out, but it's still in the works. You know how that happens. You're running a business, you're right, but he writes children's books called The Totally Ninja Raccoons. And it's about three brothers brother raccoons who are obviously ninjas but those all take place in the town that the bookstore's in called Wellsboro PA and around the areas surrounding it and local famous places like the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon and thus you know kids in the area it gets them into reading and he autographs them for you for free when you buy them so I got a set for my nephew when he was younger that was up to you know the book that was out and got them all autographed for him and but he'll sell them as a set with a discount or he'll sell them singularly and it's just wonderful the kids get so excited and there are two bookstore cats that live in the store called huck and finn and they are actual brothers from the same litter and they they are lovely they they're famous they're actually in a bookstore cat book that is national and they picked huck and finn from pennsylvania and they're in a ma a cat magazine and so they are famous bookstore cats. But anyway, so I will put them below, but they do ship. They have they have a website, which is a little hard to maneuver, but they have a Facebook page, which they, they regularly um, check and sell from and has a 
phone number and you can call them and you just tell them what they want you want and they will get you that book and they um if you have a membership which you pay once a year for and it lasts a year um i get mine when they're having a deal on the memberships always get a deal and then um it renews and you get 25% off new things and 20% off used books. And then they have sales. Like right now, members get 50% off anything that's already in the store. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I use those. But um, so many things. But you call them. You tell them what you're looking for. They will find it for you. They will also search for out-of-print books for you. On all the websites they're very good at finding things and I got this crochet and pins from Megan lap of course it went into back order and I had to wait a couple extra weeks but there are no names of anything in it because it's all mix and match to make your own creatures so there are like ten kinds of ears and like 12 kinds of headgear and different kinds of legs. So none of these creatures have names except Inkin. And then it's a Cthulhu Inkin. They're so cute. The one thing I've started getting upset with Chris for. And her name is Chris K-R-I-S. Every time I go in and she gets my book for me, she starts paging through my book before I get to page through my book. And I'm like, give me, don't, you're going to break the binding. And I haven't even gotten to see what's in my book. And I'm a little OCD about my books. And she, I know she's very careful. She's a book fiend like me. But she might bend a page or... I haven't even gotten to see what's in my books. I want to be the first to see what's in my books. I'm sorry if I'm a little emotional today. Um, my, my bio dad, I call him Daddy David. Because when I was a kid, I always had my dad who lives with me with me. He's been around since I was like three and a half, four years old. And so my bio dad when he wasn't around, I always call him daddy, you know, went to his face. But when he, we were talking about him to differentiate him from my dad, who I also called daddy to his face, um, we would say daddy David. Um, he called last night and he was in tears. He, Okay, and this is actually affecting me. It did not affect me last night. And he called to tell me my Aunt Joan had died. And that's his oldest sister. There are four of them. And she was the firstborn. And last year, my grandmother had died. And I think it's really affecting him. He doesn't have a wife. He doesn't have a significant other. He lived with my grandmother. He was her caretaker. And um, I think he's feeling his loneliness. I asked if anybody had checked on him. Because he lived in my grandmother's house with her. And after she died, the house went to all four of them. And they were to sell it and split the proceeds. And I, I wondered why they wouldn't just give him the house. But that is not how they were. So he moved, He actually was lucky enough. The house next door to where he grew up. Um, he knew the owners his entire life. The owner had passed on and the son who he grew up with had turned it into apartments. And so he moved into one of the apartments right next door to the house he grew up in. And my cousin, 
my Aunt Janet's daughter bought my grandmother's house, so it stayed in the family. And my cousin Amanda checked in on him yesterday, but none of his siblings did. But, um, yeah, apparently it's affecting me. I thought it did wouldn't because I haven't seen my Aunt Joan in a few years. Um, that side of the family and I had moved apart from each other. Um, when I got sick with my bipolar and it really affected me, there were a few years I didn't even leave the house. I became agoraphobic, um, quite agoraphobic. And one of them, my Aunt Janet, sent me a letter once, checking in on me. And that was it. No calls. They were an hour and a half away. Not a single one of them called to check on me. None of them. My grandmother and my father, they checked on me. They kept in touch with me. Nobody else. After that, and I was better. Oh, how are you? Oh, and never wanted to hear about anything. That was fine. I didn't need them. But, I guess it is affecting me. I mean, I care about people. And this is not where this was supposed to go. I am so sorry. Let's do happier. Happier. And happier is that somebody dear sent me some happy mail. I, I had mentioned that I had wanted to try a colorway of one of my favorite yarns. And Dear Allie from Allie Artifacts said, you're going to get a package. <laughs> People, <laughs> you are too sweet. And this has two of these in there. This is my brand Ferris wheel. Okay, and this gorgeous color, can I get, oh, there we go, is Summer Day, which I will be needing during the winter, believe me, and it has the golds and the, like, teals, and let's see if I can see, and these rusty reds and some greens in the middle. I will take one out because you can't see that through the plastic. And they're just so soft. Okay, there you go. The greens and the gold. And they're kind of a rusty pink. Rusty pink. I made a new word. <laughs> a new color. And then the teals. And I think those are about all the four. And the marl. I love the marls and the tweeds and the speckles. And it's 270 yards, 247 meters, 3 ounces, 85 grams, machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic, a four weight. And I always think it's like a heavy three weight, a light four weight. I got fat fingers. You got to remember those are fat fingers. And it's called Summer Day. And it's a 4.5 millimeter needle, a 5 millimeter hook, no pyramids, which is bleaching, no ironing. And you can dry clean it with the A, which I still think is all the solvents. And there are six of them. Which is like a ton. Let's see, 12 and then 6. I always get the 6 times 7 wrong. Is that 32? No. I don't know. Oh. 
somewhere up there. It's a lot. It's over 1,200 yards. And now the hole was big enough for it to come out of, but it's not big enough for it to go back in. And here comes Ziva. Okay, you want to sniff it? There you go. Hi. Yes, both babies are in the room with me because everybody else is asleep right now. So, Ziva is walking on everything and just totally, totally ignoring mommy's. Oh, laying down. Go in, in the hole. Don't you want to go in the home? Eventually, I'll get it in there. By ripping the label, apparently. But that's okay. Because it's mine. And those are the... I'm in my... In my... My one Halloween shirt. My one Halloween shirt. But that is my Happy Mail and Acquisitions. But, um... Thank you for watching. And sorry about the emotions. It's real here. It's always real. But I will talk to you later. And have a wonderful day. And shine bright. Bye-bye.